as a human being, the right to be able to access who, uh, whoever I want on the internet becomes is more important than just accessing the, the, any old movie. Yes. We're, nowadays, we do so much on the internet. We live our lives on the internet. We do uh, so, so much of our pleasure as well as our work happens on the internet that my entire view of the world is now governed by the people I speak to and the opinions that I listen to on the internet. So who I can connect to on the internet determines what I think of the world. And that determines who I vote for. That determines how I decide to spend my time. If I just spend the time, I spend my evening, my my uh, uh, weekends hugging trees, or going uh, taking courses, or going down to, or going to the government and parading outside with banners, trying to persuade them of things. All these decisions that I make uh, decide more and more. They're based on things I see on the internet. So, the right to be able to access what the information which is out there. Uh, there are lots of rights you can write up there on the wall easily and then ask, well, you know, you can put it up there with big question marks. What about the right when I look at information, if I see uh, information w uh, out there, whether it's about how to make a bomb on the Internet or it's about how to know whether you've got the, uh, a, a particular flu virus, do I have a right to know who put that information up or do they have the right to anonymity? There are some people who feel that the right to be able to say something anonymously is really, really important in a democratic society, and there are other people who feel that it's really that I have a right to know who you are. If you are saying something negative, or you're putting up some medical information, you don't. That uh, I have the right to know who you are. But these are two rights, of course, completely in uh, in context. 